Smack. So, uh, the Ultramarines uh, have taken the day here. Three squads worth of Space Marines blasting my, uh, my webway gate here. That's, that's like the equivalent of a, a supply building, like a farm or something, but it has other abilities, other very handy ones. That over there on the left that they're shooting at is a listing post. That's the building you put on top of the strategic point to prevent it from being captured. And uh, this building they're firing at right now is the Aspect uh, Portal. And that's a very important building for me because that produces my, my best units. And uh, there's a uh, Howling Banshee squad being created from it right now. But the Space Marines are relentless. They want to take that down. They know that if they can kill the Aspect Portal, then that really cuts off my uh, supply of reinforcements for a while. And this should secure him victory. But the um, Howling Banshee is running amok amongst the units. And bang, this the Aspect Portal gone down. So I'm only able to rebuild units from the my main building, the Webway uh, Assembly. And that uh, can only produce Guardians and uh, a couple of other types of units. But... Uh, <laughs> The things are quite bad here because my Dark Reapers, the only uh, units apart from the Banshees defending the base, having to run away for avoiding combat. My plan here uh, is a desperate one. Uh, while he was doing this, I've actually captured most of the strategic points on the map, and uh, the game's victory conditions aren't purely just to wipe out your opponent's buildings in this game. Uh, you can also capture more than more than two thirds of the of the actual uh, strategic points around the map, and that puts you on a timer. And after the timer counts down, if your opponent hasn't actually captured some of them back to bring you back, bring you below two thirds, you win the game automatically. And that's actually what I've got the timer on. So if I can defend my opponent for long enough. This will actually uh, keep it going, and one unit that you probably can't see too well uh, is the Harlequin, which I've built here. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. This unit here is the Harlequin. It's like a, a secondary hero unit that I've built. I didn't, didn't build the initial hero unit, which is the Farseer, but I've got the Har Harlequin here, which is a single like hero-type unit, which is uh, running in the middle of the Space Marines and just rushing around. It's kind of like a dancer unit with a, a blade. It's really good at combat. It doesn't have a very good ranged attack, but uh, as you can see, he's just, uh, she's just polishing off Marines. Uh, and in the meantime, I've got uh, another squad of Guardians being built and Dark Reapers blasting the uh, Space Marines. Desperately trying to get rid of them and it uh, looks like I'm doing a pretty good job. The uh, Ultramarines are finally forced to retreat and this puts me in a really good position. Uh, one reason why they're, they're retreating is because I know that if the counter gets below zero, then they'll lose the game outright. But also because I've, I've finally managed to get so many reinforcements that I've, I've pushed uh, my opponent out of the base. And I'm really uh, happy about my choice there to build a, uh, a Harlequin because... That uh, a hero unit has uh, a fair amount of hit points and uh, does a lot of damage immediately where most of the action was. In the meantime, I built a lot of Guardians because uh, Guardians were the only type of unit I could have built given the fact that I'd lost my Aspect Portal. And uh, over here you can see my opponent grabbing a Relic, but uh, it's the strategic points in particular are the type of the points that he needs to capture in order to bring his control of them uh, above a third. And uh, he's really going to need to do that because... I mean, according to the mini-map, I've got more than half. I've got all of the points on my side of the map, plus a point to the, to the left of the space over here, as you can see. Re re rebuilding my aspect uh, portal next to that point, which uh, my opponent really needs to capture. And uh, it was probably a bad decision of me to build the aspect portal there, knowing that uh, my opponent would probably have to take that point out if he wants to wants to actually secure victory here. And that actually appears to be exactly what he's doing, according to the mini-map, heading his, his army over there to, to dispense with it. And here we go down the Ultramarines. Walking down the, the ramp here, I've got another unit trying to take out the listing post. They need to do that before they can capture the point. I'm sending two squads over there to deal with them. Meanwhile, i um, just sending my main force over to deal with the Space Marines, taking out the listing post, protecting that strategic point, which they must capture at this point. Counter is actually uh, going down very low. We're down to about a minute, minute left, and uh, that does not leave very much time. But uh, a lot of firepower here from the Space Marines, shooting at that aspect portal, shooting at the, uh, the listing post in particular as well. And uh, I've got uh, a number of squads closing in here, rushing down the ramp to engage them. Uh, and uh, there you go, the listing post has been destroyed. The Space Marines are just lowering the flag there, desperate to uh, do that. And my force just blasting them with firepower as they uh, pr prevent the loss. But uh, the Ultramarines have succeeded. They've actually captured the point. The, um, the amount, of, amount of strategic points that I've got has been reduced to below 66%. So uh, that means the Ultramarines are free to fight and they've, uh, they've, lo they've uh, prevented a, a, an embarrassing defeat from that victory condition. But uh, there's a big firefight now with the Harlequin still alive in amongst the Space Marine forces. Only one single squad is in combat. The rest of the Space Marines uh, are available to shoot back at the Guardians. The Aspect Portal has kicked into life. I've actually built in a, a new unit. Uh, these are Fire Dragons. They're a unit which aren't actually that good against, uh, against infantry. They're really good for, uh, for uh, shooting 
buildings and vehicles, the one reason I built them is A, because that's the only thing I teched up to with this particular aspect portal, and B, because I was very worried that uh, at this point in the game he might come out with vehicles and uh, just win it that way. Technology is very important in this game. By the way, you can see the dead Harlequin. She's uh, served the craft world well, but uh, unfortunately she's been killed. And another group of uh, fire dragons here, just avoiding fire. I'm just going to sacrifice that aspect portal and run away. Uh, at this point, I've really got an economic advantage and tech advantage. Finally, these are the Wraith Lords. They're um, some Eldar bipedal vehicles. They, they're, they're walkers. They walk around and uh, inflict massive damage in combat, and they have a decent ranged attack as well. So this is the um, support portal back at my base, which is producing them. And uh, with Wraith Lords in the battle, I've finally uh, got an advantage in this game, uh, having, having to claw my, my way back this whole time. And now, finally, the Wraith Lords have made it in combat. You can see them just kicking Marines around, smashing them, firing with flamethrowers. Things looking really bad for the Ultramarines because the Space Marines just do not have any tech at all. They're still limited to just bolt guns. They haven't upgraded to any other kind of heavy weapons. Uh, no, no vehicles back at base. So these Wraith Lords are really going to have no trouble dispatching Marines. And uh, the uh, Space Marine player knows that he's going to have to um, retreat very shortly because, as you can see, the Wraith Lords just... <laughs> causing havoc amongst these marines. I've only got uh, fire dragons in support. Fire dragons are only really good, good at building, so I'm going to have to switch to, to banshees and stuff. But you need to get a particular upgrade at the aspect portal. Even even if you already have got it early in the game, if you lose your aspect portal, you have to re-tech it. Unfortunately, those uh, points of tech aren't uh, very difficult to get, and that's what I'm doing right now. But uh, back in my opponent's space, there's a third uh, Wraith Lord, which is uh, headed over here. As you can see, the Wraith Lord is taking damage very slowly. Uh, so durable against Marines with no tech upgrades, and that's that's why it's so important to not fall behind, not fall too far behind in tech in this game, because if you do, you've got just one Wraith Lord and, and two buddies joined. Uh, <laughs> this is from the other fight, so that we've all linked up to one single fight here, the three Wraith Lords plus a single group of Fire Dragons, which are barely even needed. Uh, all those, those Wraith Lords um, are just pounding on these Marines here. Uh, and the, the fire dragons, they will be best off actually firing at that listing post there, firing at the building, which they're much better at destroying. <laughs> and as you can see, uh, well, I'm not sure if you can see it see it too well, but um, the Space Marine is just being flung, flung over the cliff. So, wow. Oh, and this, that's the Space Marine commander himself. Been picked up by a Wraith Lord and, and killed and thrown away like a doll over the cliff. What a, what a catastrophic end to the Space Marine commander. I've got a jet bike, a river jet bike here as well. A Viper jet bike, not Reaver jet bike. Um, Viper, Viper jet bike firing missiles into the Space Marines. This is causing even more damage, just blowing up and and uh, flying them everywhere. Uh, but uh, things look well and truly over for the Space Marine player. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this exciting game of Dawn of War. Hopefully, uh, this is you know made you a little bit more interested in the game. If you guys need any more explanations, I'll go through them next time I do a commentary. Unfortunately, the video quality of this is not too great because I've got the uh, got the game of minimum specs and of, of decreased resolution and frame rate in gun cam just to cater for it. But uh, I think roughly you can see basically what's going on. You can see the buildings and, and units and bases and so forth. My opponent, I think, trying to build a uh, static defense uh, building here, but it's too late. Too many units here. The, uh, just flame flamethrowers going off from these Wraith Lords. Uh, and Every unit that comes to the site is getting blasted. The fire dragons do massive damage to buildings, and that's it. He's left the game. So, guys, thanks for watching. Dawn of War. Still enjoying it. I've got all of the expansions now, and uh, let's hope for a patch to it. Uh, and uh, that'll make a lot of people happy. But in the meantime, more StarCraft commentaries coming up, more Dawn of War commentaries coming up as well.